Xbox announces a game event for the 26th of March that will be Indie Focus, a brand new feature called Dolby Vision, gets added to the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S and Halo Infinite details a few more features. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So we have a couple of things to go over today. Up first, Xbox will be doing a game event for the 26th of March live on Twitch. Now I did speak about this briefly last week when it was first announced but that was in my longer style rant video I said I would go a little bit deeper into this event this week so we know exactly what we can expect now for some reason whenever Xbox or PlayStation do these type of events there are always people who are left a little bit disappointed because they have the wrong type of expectations now I completely blame Microsoft and Sony because they never make it clear as to exactly what these type of events will be but to Xbox credit this time around they actually did now this is not going to be your typical event that we are used to this is going to be an event that will feature 100 games and it will only be for indie creators Xbox said in a statement we at ID Xbox the independent and digital gaming publishing program for Xbox love indie games it is in our blood technically it is also kind of in our name turns out our friends at Twitch also love indie games when we found that out we thought we got a collab so I'm thrilled to announce the first Twitch gaming show Showcase. Now based on that it does sound like this event will be exclusive to Twitch. I'm not seeing anything that suggests that this event will be on YouTube as well. Usually Xbox will co-host on their channel but I think due to the nature of the event it might actually just be something that is specially planned for Twitch specifically. Now I think in this case it will be fine though most people have Twitch anyways. Now I already touch on who this event will be for. It will be for the indie developers and they will showcase 100 games. I have no idea how long this event will be if they are planning to show off 100 games. I'm guessing it will be at least 3 hours, although Xbox also say that they will show off some gameplay for these games, so it could actually be a little bit longer. Now they say we are featuring tons of independent titles, including brand new games announcements from developers and publishers such as Drinkbox Studios, Curve Digital, Devolver Digital, Deer Villages and others. During this showcase we will debut new trailers and gameplay for more than 25 games including Second Extinction, The Ascent, The Wild at Heart, Voitrain and XO1, an update on Stalker 2 and many more. Also we will be making announcements about independent titles coming to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. Community favorite Twitch streamers will host the showcase and conduct interviews with developers. They fan questions and maybe even drop some game codes. Now just a few updates regarding that statement since Xbox made the announcement the developer behind Stalker did come out with their own statement saying that they won't show off any gameplay at that event. At least that's what I think they said it seems like there is some sort of miscommunication. They made this tweet saying just a quick update about the GAC presence at ID Xbox stream 23 March will mark the 14th anniversary of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Celebrating the date last year we released the first in-engine screenshot of Stalker 2. This time we made a neat behind the scene video with certain in-game material demonstration. We prepared this for Microsoft Stream on 26th of March but this whole thing was released a little bit too early on the Xbox Wire block. We didn't plan to show more during this showcase but we do have bigger and louder announcements in store for 2021. This mistake was corrected in several minutes but it was enough for the news to spread all over the internet. The same can happen with this note so we are attaching some artwork from Stalker 2. These ones would look wonderful in every post. We are sorry about the inaccuracy but we are still more than eager to make your day a little bit happier on March 26. Now based on that it sounds like they will be at the event just not in the capacity as originally expected. But that is pretty much it for the event we will have to wait for the 26 to see exactly how this whole thing will play out now I will say that I am really glad that they are doing something for indie games as well I touched on this in last week's video but these smaller developers really need these type of events the big AAA games will be fine without those big events Halo Infinite and Fable doesn't really need a showcase they will do really good on their own they are big enough and rich enough to market themselves but 
the smaller developers does not always have the marketing capabilities to promote their game so events like this become extremely crucial for them because for a lot of them this is the only exposure that they will get if xbox and playstation do not showcase them they will pretty much just fade away among the AAA games with these massive advertising budgets but moving on to some other xbox news xbox will be adding a few new features to dolby vision now just to be clear dolby vision is nothing new it is just new to the console landscape now right now xbox is still busy testing this feature for the xbox series x and the xbox series s on limited titles xbox said in a statement as we announced last year we are excited to be bringing dolby vision support for gaming to the new xbox consoles in 2021 the feature is currently in testing and we will have more to announce on general availability timing and functionality soon now for those who might be a little bit confused as to what this feature is dolby vision is a dynamic hdr format developed by dolby labs by adjusting the picture on the scene by scene and even frame by frame basis it lets you see more detail with better color accuracy it is consistently making adjustments so that each image on the screen is optimized so this is just yet another feature that will make your game look better than before but you will need a television that supports Dolby Vision. Now this feature is a nice to have and it can add some extra spark to your gaming visuals but it is not a deal breaker if your TV does not support it. I don't recommend that you go out and buy a TV just for this. But then also moving on we got some more updates for Halo Infinite. Over the last couple of months we have been receiving quite a few updates regarding this game and it does look like they are adding a bunch of features to this game that was not originally included when i listen to all of the things that they are including now in this game it does make me wonder in what state this game was originally i definitely think that they made the right choice to delay the game people are getting tired of this thing where developers release games in a broken state and then just fix it over time but anyway one of the details that halo will be adding as pointed out by comic book is that there will be a day and night cycle in the game as well as a weather system that includes things like wind storms but not rainstorms or snowstorms though 343 industries teases that this could come in the future tying into this what enemies you will come across and how they behave will change depending on the time of day but that is something that i really like having a day and night cycle just make the game feel more like an open world type of game although it is worth pointing out that halo infinite will not be a full open world it just has some open world elements 343 does talk about the fact that there will be different types of wildlife in the game but then they do go on to say that exploration of these areas will be partly limited because it's not a true open world game however missions allow multiple approaches due to open world like design and to this end you can stray from the path and explore different side content and objectives the main story is the main story and needs to be completed in order but there is some freedom in between missions now if there is this option for you to stray away from your original path i just hope that they give you a proper map i don't know if anybody else is experiencing this but i always get lost in halo now there is this great post on reddit that talks about all of the things that you can expect and all of the things that has been confirmed up until this point it's a really great read and i will put a link down in the description if you guys want to go and check that out but on that note this is where i'm going to end it so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button if you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe wash your hands don't touch your face and i hope to see you again soon